This gun comes in a very small case. Um, it's a compact. Um, in the case are an extra set of sights and a Allen wrench, uh, a manual, a warranty card, and a cleaning brush. This is something always sticky in here. So, this is a Grand Power. This is a manual for a P1 Mark 12. This gun is actually not a P1. It's not a K100 Mark, uh, Mark 12 either. It is a Grand Power P11 Mark 12. Uh, apparently, there is a difference, uh, and I'm, I'm just quoting uh, Such Double Zero. I believe he said that there's a difference, I guess, in the. Uh, <coughs> I guess the variance in the uh, revisions of the gun. You know, it's almost like saying uh, patch level 12 of some software patch. So this is P11 Mark 12. I'm assuming there's some uh, some upgraded, I guess, uh, or some some fixes that were hindering some of the other variants of the gun. So th this gun, when I look at it. Although it doesn't look uh, similar to a, uh, a Beretta PX4 Storm uh, Compact, um, this is a similar size to that gun. Um, it also has, if you look here, rotating barrel. Very similar to uh, the Beretta PX4 Storm's uh, rotating barrel. Um, it comes with two mags. Uh, they're 12 round mags. Uh, these have to be altered to 10 round mags before I can bring them to California. Yes, I am moving to California. Uh, so there are some things I've been looking for in the guns. These other two guns, I don't have to worry about the uh, magazine round count because uh, <coughs> I specifically got their package that has 10 round magazines included in it. Um, but anyways, this is a poly gun. Let's go ahead and take both of those magazines out. The, the magazines are quality magazines. They almost look like Mechgar. Uh, Magazineblock.com does not have, I guess, uh, the blocks for these. So what I could do is I could actually just order a few that might be similar. These look very similar to uh, my SP2022 mags. Um, but I don't need a big one. I, what I need is something that I know that will fit in here without issue between the springs that fits on the base plate. But I only need two rounds uh, negated from this, this magazine. So it, it can't, I can't use the SP2022's magazine block because that's a 15 round. That they, those, have, those are 15 round magazines, which means the, uh, the blocker is going to be bigger. Or I can just buy it and then shave off the amount that I need. I might do that because they, they look almost a spitting image of the uh, SP2022's magazines. Um, so this gun is a uh, hammer fire gun. Um, the fit and finish of this gun is it's actually pretty nice. It's a poly gun. It's a plastic gun. The lowers, uh, the grip module is a uh, plastic um, the sights are contrast sights. Uh, they, they look like they're really, they're nice. Um, the controls on this, this is a double action, single action gun. It's in single action mode now. Um, I actually had to, had it on safe. It's got an ambidextrous safe. Manual safety. So that side, that side. So that means my daughters and my wife can fire it. Um, my wife's right-handed. Uh, one of my daughters is left-handed. I believe my son might be left-handed. So when he gets old enough to want to go to the range with me, he could actually use this gun. Not only that, the uh, magazine release is ambidextrous. Got buttons on both sides. Um, and again, the uh, slide catch, ambidextrous. Um, so the, on the on the barrel here it says 
imported by RSA Enterprises. I believe this is actually imported uh, by Eagle Imports. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if their Eagle Imports is a subsidiary of uh, RSA Enterprises. But uh, on the slide, it's got a uh, it's got pretty nice and I guess non. It, I guess the branding doesn't jump out at you, but it's got Grand Power on this side, made in Slovakia. Um, and it's got the uh, the importer information on top here. Uh, it's got the P11 Mark 12 here. Uh, it's got the serial number on the barrel and here, and I and down here, and uh, I thought I saw it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I mean, the plastic, it feels very nice. It's not ultra grippy though, but I don't, I don't foresee having a problem with the lack of grippiness of this gun. Um, but yeah, the, the plastic is actually solid, more solid than some of the other poly guns that I have. I am not going to break this down in the video. I tried to break it down last night and I had serious problems getting it back together. Um, the I didn't have any problem getting it apart. Um, and so when I have problems getting uh, trying to get it back together, I whipped out the manual and the man all the manual said was put it back together exactly the way it came apart. Um, that was not helpful at all. Um, and even when I went to Such's uh uh, video of the uh, P11 Mark 12 that didn't help either I looked at it I, I, I just kept rewinding and and looking at the same part where it was putting it back together and then my wife came over and I got disgusted with the gun I should have, it's not the gun it's me uh, but she uh, within 10 minutes she got it back together now she did have to reference uh, Sucha's video as well but uh, she she doesn't handle guns all that much, but I guess she treated it like it was a Rubik's Cube. She was like, okay, let me try it. And then she was over there messing with it. And the next thing you know, I'm looking over her shoulder and, and I watched her put it together. And I was like, whoa. I was like, then she was like, okay, you could take it apart again and, uh, and uh, see if you can get it back together. And I, you know, at that point, I was like, no, I've had enough for tonight. But uh, yeah, the safety's good. Um, there is no decocker on this gun. Um, so I'm assuming that when you want to take it out of a single action, it's in single action now, you would probably drop the hammer or make sure that it's clear. There's nothing in the chamber. There's not a mag in place and then maybe just pull the trigger. Kind of Glock like some people don't care for that. I'm not one for trying to drop the hammer either. Uh, that that could be dangerous. Um, but yeah, the uh, double action pull on this thing is pretty strong. As well, you could half cock this. I don't know the advantage of half, half cocking this gun versus, well, let, let's watch the trigger. It doesn't take that much more off of the, uh, off the, off of the DA trigger when it's half cocked. So I don't I, I don't know the advantage of being half cocked with the exception. Well I don't know. I don't know what the what the difference of being half yeah. cocked with the manual safety on versus fully cocked with the manual safety on. Look, it won't drop. Let's try uh let's try the half cock. Look at that. It still won't drop, but it's moving. But yeah, it's a very nice gun. I like the looks of it. It's one of the only guns that I have that have the has the front, uh, what do you call it, uh, serrations. It's not overly difficult to, uh, to cock back. It's nice. It's small. It's actually light. It feels good in the hand. It it feels kind of exotic like, but it, it I mean it is a nice gun. 
wanted to show you the trigger on this so it doesn't have like the Glock like safety trigger um, I'm not aware of any hammer fire guns that have those but you can definitely see that it's plastic it feels solid there's no problem uh, and remember this is a DASA gun it's in DA mode right now right so if I pull this trigger and I just you hear that click that's me going past the half cock mode if I let go you look at the hammer and it's like half cocked um, so let's pull it all the way back it is smooth it's not gritty or anything you don't hear any grittiness and uh, my finger kinda being jerky that was me that was my muscles so if I charge this again look at the reset on this thing it is insane look see if I can release it there you go that is insane I'm not sure if you can see it I want to see I believe that has a smaller reset than my uh, my Jonic that is insane